Hi, I'm Tim Warner, host of the Inform IT Certification Reference Guide, and welcome to this on-certification screencast entitled, A Tour of the Inform IT Reference Guides. Our agenda for this screencast is as follows. I'm going to take you online and we're going to pay a visit to the reference guides at Inform IT. We'll explain what they are, what their purpose is, and how to use them. And after we're finished with that tour, I'll provide you with my contact information so that if you have any questions or comments, you can reach me directly. To get started, I would ask you to point your web browser to informit.com, and this will take you to our home page. Now, one question that I had, quite frankly, before I began working for Pearson, is what exactly is InformIT? Well, to inform you, so to speak, InformIT is part of Pearson Publishing. It's actually the group that I work in, the IT Pro and Certification Group. This is our online portal. If you, we open the imprints menu on the top navigation bar, you can see our publishing imprints, Addison Wesley Professional, Cisco Press, Exam Cram, IBM Press, Prentice Hall Professional, Q Publishing, and SAMS Publishing. In particular, InformIT aggregates news articles, blog posts, multimedia pieces that support not just our products, this is more than just a catalog, an online e-commerce portal, but also, like I said, aggregates content for the good of the IT community as a whole. And the reference guides in particular represent a way to reach out to users and educate them. Now, the two main ways to get to the reference guide areas from the Inform IT portal are in the quick links bar up here on the right, we have reference guides, or also you can open the explore menu and reference guides appears there as well. This is the reference guide landing page. It has a really easy to remember URL for your bookmarking or typing pleasure. It's informit.com forward slash guides. And the reference guides are divided into general categories or topics. .NET, for you programmers out there using the .NET framework. C++, for you old school programmers. Certification, which is my own little space on the web. Java, Microsoft Office, Security, SQL Server, and Windows Server. So if we click, for instance, SQL Server, which happens to be my favorite reference guide, we see a landing page, a link to the host, Buck Woody, very, very excellent instructor on SQL Server. The reference guide has a table of contents. Now each host divides or decides on what his or her table of contents looks like. This just happens to be Buck's. He has an overview document, and then he's divided his subject matter into different categories. And these categories can point to multimedia pieces, they can point to blog posts, really whatever the host wants. We can use this breadcrumb navigation trail to step back and come back into the reference guides area. Now, let's click certification to come into the certification reference guide. I have my guide contents pretty stripped down. I've got an IT certification 101 link. I have certification pages on Cisco, CompTIA, and Microsoft. I've put in a glossary of IT certification terms to help you with some of those alphabet soup type acronyms that we come across in IT certification. What I'm particularly proud of are the video tutorials. These are flash movies that I've created on various topics. I have one, for instance, on how to register for your IT exams, another on how to use Twitter, another on Safari Books Online, etc. Let's step back one more time. You'll notice that we have this sidebar over here called Related Resources. It's fairly smart, quote-unquote. In other words, you could be looking at an article I've written on CompTIA, for instance, and you'll see product links to, of course, Pearson titles that pertain to the subject matter at hand. Just like you'd expect from any blog or weblog, most of the articles do support comments. So, for instance, if we dial into one of my more recent blog posts, we can come down to the bottom of there, and there's a comments area. Please share your comment. And if you've used blogs before and added comments to those articles, you know exactly how that works. You've been there, 
bought the t-shirt, so on and so forth. A topic that is somewhat related to the reference guide is the Inform IT podcast channel collection. If we open the navigation bar under Explore, we have Blogs, which is yet another way to pipe into blogs hosted in reference guides, and we have Podcasts. The friendly URL for this is informit.com forward slash podcasts. And in general, the podcasts are broken down quite similarly to how we do the reference guides, actually. You can see them over here. There's actually more podcast channels than there are reference guides. And if we click Certification, this brings us to podcasts about certification. We have on security, on networking, and guess what? On certification. This is my little spot over on this section of the site. And what you're seeing here are, well, exactly what you're watching right now. A screencast or recording of my computer screen with my voice overlaid on top of it, educating you, giving you study tips, reviews, and so on, on information technology and IT certification in particular. There you have it, friends. I hope that you enjoyed this trip through the Inform IT Reference Guide area. If you have any questions or suggestions for future screencasts, please don't hesitate to give me a email message, send me an email message. Again, my name is Tim Warner, and my email address is timothy.warner at pearson.com. Here are some of those URLs that you've already seen. Informit.com forward slash on certification takes you directly to the on certification screencast channel homepage. I've duplicated these videos for easier streaming at YouTube. You can hit up youtube.com forward slash on certification to go there. Finally, Inform IT Certification Reference Guide if you want to just cut to the chase and hit my reference guide directly. The friendly URL is informit.com forward slash cert guide. Happy studying. Take good care.